Yo, 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 check it out. We're back with our first edition of just traveling the world and me commenting on what I see. If I see anything interesting, I might comment on it. If I don't, I'm still probably going to comment on it. And uh, we're just going to have some fun with this. So let's, uh, let's just go somewhere. Let's go to Siberia. Let's go to Siberia. This looks like a town I would live in. Igarka. Igarka. Cloudy, negative 10 degrees. Man, that's cold. Museum of Permafrost. Okay, I think you know you're in the cold hell when you have a museum for permafrost in Igarka. Wow, look at that. That is cool. That is permafrost. Now, I'm not the smartest guy east of the Mississippi, but isn't permafrost permanently frosted ground? Something like that. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> we can't visit there. I like the numbers over in Russia. Plus seven, three nine one, seven two two, two nine nine five. Like what? It'd be funny to call that. Nah, we're not gonna call that. Igarka. They've got an airport in Igarka. Let's see if uh, the Google Maps car has been to Igarka. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. Look how huge Russia is. That is insane. Little tiny Igarka on the Yenisei River. All alone. Alright, let's get out of Igarka. There's a lot of towns along this river. It's pretty cool. Let's go to uh, Dondika. Russia. Negative 8. It's a little warmer than Igarka. That's appealing. Huh. That's an interesting statue. Wow. You wouldn't you wouldn't think this far up in Siberia they would build a beautiful I'm guessing that's a church, but a beautiful church like that. That is I think of Siberia and I just think of you know, people living in igloos and huts and Oh, they have cars. <laughs> they actually have uh strollers. Huh. They actually have people ship in strollers. That's a nice looking building. Huh. They've got a port. I think the church is their main thing. That's pretty cool. Look at that guy. He's just like, yeah. You know, I don't want to be here, but I'm here. That is pretty cool. Dundika. Dundika. Any places to eat here in Dondika? <laughs> I have to scroll all the way back in. Custom pizza. One review. Two stars. I didn't like the not very tasty pizza, but the prices are attractive and the pizza tastes so-so. It's immediately clear that the pizza is not freshly cooked, but frozen. Otherwise, I don't recommend it. Well, of course, it's frozen. You live in Siberia. Why are you shocked by that? Okay, what's the other one? Tree Sumureya. A little bit better reviews. Um, mad face. Sad face. Is there any disgusting restaurant in Dudinka at all? Sushi disgusting does not taste good as rotten fish. I do not recommend. Huh sad that's just sad honestly is this another chaikona they do take out they got good reviews would i live here oh google google's got a picture huh wow look at that 
Looks like it's from 1960. A little more modern vehicle there. A lot of snow. This guy didn't even bother getting out. He's just like, I'm just going to put the camera on top. Stay in my warm car. I don't blame him or her. Creep into people's windows, why don't we? Yeah. Looks like something I would expect from Siberia. Absolutely. Well, let's keep it going. Exit out of this. Let's keep it going. We're heading north on the Yinsai River. We got a port here. Looks depressing, honestly. There's a few more cities and towns. Kroil. Oh my gosh, that's white. Center for employment. <laughs> With guard. One review. Guard! Exclamation mark. He's happy. It's good to be happy in northern Siberia. I can't even speak Russian. I'm not even going to attempt. Mungoy. Mungoy. Negative three. Oh, it's warm there. Time to go swimming. Bakevala. I don't think these are towns. These are just villages now. Wow, we're getting into the Arctic Ocean. Let's let's go back a little bit. What's this little dot here? Oh, it's separating two uh, different territories, I guess. Northern Siberia. Yesterday, I was looking up the um, locations of Russians, Russia's pipelines. There are a lot of them, and they flow. They start right in this area, roughly. And they flow all the way into the EU, Europe. One of them, I think, was in Nadim. Right here? Yep. So we'll check out their pipe, pipeline and oil system for a second. It's absolutely... Russia has a huge huge oil and natural gas business going on but this is Nadim oh my gosh no way KFC let me just give you context where we're at in the middle of absolutely nowhere and they have a KFC oh I lost it here we go. Okay. Let's get back to that KFC. Let's see what the reviews are. Chicken restaurant. It, yeah, that's true. It is. Colonel Sanders is in Siberia. I don't think he ever would have thought that he'd be in Siberia. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. All right, what are the reviews like? Worst of KFC restaurants. On the first visit, made a discount for opening, but such a terrible quality after almost three months of operation is unacceptable. What is being prepared is absolutely not like the products of other establishments of the network. The administration should think hard. The feeling of novelty will pass, and it will be possible to close. That is intense. Russians don't mess around, man. They talk, like, intense. Preparing disgustingly, even Frisha's potatoes were able to spoil. The order was waiting for 40 minutes. Local teenagers come there just to excite, behave defiantly. Well, you know. That's like every teenager ever. Oh, here's a good one. Wonderful KFC. The order is prepared quickly. Convenient location. Large parking lot. There are always places. Delicious. KFC is like KFC. 
Okay. Delicious, fast, sweet cashier girl. Finally, we have a breaded chicken from Colonel Sanders. Well, he's dead, but from his company, you do. Huh. Well, you know, mixed reviews on it. Um, you know, I, I would try it out. I would, try, I would have to try it out. I can't just judge it on, on those reviews. Dodo Pizza. Dodo Pizza. Oh, my. They actually just... It's just normal, normal people. Much more advanced than I gave them credit for before doing this, to be honest with you. Dodo Pizza. Let's just, let's just check out a review or two. Not bad. Okay. Thank you, Dodo. Everything is very tasty, always hot, and fragrant pizza. I've never heard that be described for pizza. Fragrant pizza. I'm going to use that from now on. Orders are made quickly. I want to leave special thanks to the guard Russian. Always courteous. Good. Well, good. Looks like uh, if I'm ever in uh, Nadim, northern Siberia, I got to go to Dodo Pizza. Well, let's try, let's just drop, uh, yeah, let's just drop right here, right in this little circle. We are on 7 Y Prob, uh, yeah, road, 7 Y Prob Road. Hello, how are you? I like that van, it's cool. Here's some pipelines. I don't know if these uh, are the pipelines that run to Europe, but, uh, oops, didn't mean to click on that. Cool, cool, let's get out for a second. I won't spend too much more time here. I just, uh, I'm glad that we actually have a street view, to be honest with you. So we're gonna take advantage of it just for a second. And eh, nothing really on this road. I was here, like I said yesterday, not in person, but on the maps. Here we go. I think this is the oil refinery, I want to say. I believe so. Engineering consultant. Uh, eh, it was somewhere over here. Because I was following the pipelines yesterday. And I believe they flow I believe they flow through here. One of these is definitely the pipeline. One of these little trails that you can see. I'm not gonna just say which one, I don't know, but for sure they flow through this town. This actually might be one. You can get a map of the different pipelines and you can compare them to Google Maps and see where you're at, but uh, I don't have that pulled up at the moment, so we'll get out of Nadim. That was pretty fun. Let's, uh, hmm. should we go north? Should we go south? Should we go east? Should we go west? Let's go south. Let's see what we got going on here. And I'm just going to click a random town. Oh, there's English at least. Stop. Hello, sir. No smoking. A lot of snow. What is this place? I can't read that club they got a club here dude that looks like a banger club that doesn't to me it looks like an oil refinery could be wrong 
This looks like it could be possibly pipeline. Am I just telling tales out of school here? One thing I've noticed with the pipeline trails is there's always a service road next to them, which obviously makes sense. You have to be able to maintain them, make sure they're all up to standards. Seems like an easy thing could just, I mean, it's just thousands of miles of pipes, like anything could go wrong along that. So that's gotta be absolutely full-time job, keeping those up. Wouldn't it be the worst job? You'd be out driving all day, just checking on a pipeline. Salem, Salem, Russia. That is so freaking cool. Are you kidding me? Dude. Dude. It's a cabin church thing. That is just beautiful. If any of you know what religion Russians are, I really don't know. So let me know. I'm just going to say, like, Christian, but I don't know. There's another view of it. Cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that looks like Jesus, so maybe they're Christian. I don't know. That is intense, dude. That is intense. Postcard picture. Kabib. Oh, jeez. Oh, happy 25th birthday. my cat in the background very cool very cool let's uh let's get a street view real quick here oh nice um right here let's drop right here wow okay what is this okay that is a glitch my apologies well let's back out let's try it one more time Let's try going right here. Hot pa. This guy's going to get some hot pa. Or iot pa. Iot pa. Let's get his plate. Oh, it won't let me get his plate. Oh well. Blurry anyway. <laughs> Nine three two four two eight eight five five two. If anyone wants to call that and prank them later, you're welcome. Going through the town of Salem, Katya Mansi Hello, hello. You're all real. back out of this so we are just for context right there and uh, Moscow is right here let's type in Moscow and see how far it is from Salem Crap. How did you spell that? Don't tell me I lost it. I was just there. <laughs> do any of you see it? Ah. Uh, how do you spell it? It was like Salem? Salem. Yeah, this is it for sure. 35. Whoa, that is way farther than I thought. 35 hours away. Dude, that, that's like the length of the United States. Just Moscow to Salem and look how much more. Dude, it's just inconceivably large. Puny little US right here. This is basically like traveling 
the length of the U.S. <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Let's exit out. And I would go to Moscow, but everyone knows Moscow. Let's go to another big city here in Russia. St. Petersburg, Russia. Which uh, I think gets overshadowed a lot by uh, Moscow. Bordering on Finland and Estonia. So let's, let's check it out. Let's see how many Google Street Views there are. Wow. Just a couple. All right, let's just drop in. Boom. Dropping in. Italy. Okay. Hello. She sees the car. She's like, what are you doing here? Wow, they all see it. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. I don't think they're used to the Google streetcar here. That's cool. Really cool, man. I love this old architecture. Don't ask me what time it's from, because I'm not a historian. Oh, they must be restoring that. We zoom back out, and it changes the time. Well, it did for a second. Let's go towards this really cool building. First off, I just want to point out there's a Kia and a Mercedes, Mitsubishi, Nissan. Not too much different from the US. I mean, it's a Ford. These are actually pretty nice vehicles. Mercedes-Benz seems to be the car of choice for the Russians. Wow, dude. That is intense. That is a dope-looking building, man. Let's get a front view of it. I'm assuming... I'm just gonna go on a limb and say this is the capital? But we will find out here shortly. Let's just look at the... pictures of it. Okay. Okay, what's happening here? Is that possibly Mother Mary? I don't know. Hello. Okay. So much symbolism on buildings. It's hard to keep up. It really is. Uh, let's uh, get out first. Ah, I thought it'd take me right to it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oy vey, oy vey. Where was that at? Bear with me, please, 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 please. Wow. That's depressing, dude. That is depressing. I might not find that building again. This might have been that little circle I was in. Let's just drop in, hope for the best. No, no, no. No. I see this statue a lot in the world. This phallic looking symbol. We'll do another video on that. Obviously, Washington Monument, Vatican City, you know, it's everywhere. Egypt. A big old peepee -pee in the sky. I really will be upset if I can't find that building again, dude. It was a circle. St. Isaac's Cathedral? Was that it? Oh, dude. Was that it? St. Isaac's Cathedral. Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay. St. Isaac's Square. Let's click on it. <laughs> Boom. Okay. How many photos? How many photos? Whoa. 1818 Russian Orthodox Cathedral and Museum with gold-plated dome and an opulent multicolored interior. Okay, so Russian Orthodox. I don't know. 
exactly what that is. Let's look at some picks, though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dude, what? Possibly some of the disciples, saints of the Bible, maybe? I don't know. Oh, she's taking a picture of the guy taking the picture. Hello. Dude, that is intense, man. Think about just the time it would take to carve all of these letters in the wood and oh my goodness painting it that's too much man that's too much very cool very cool saint isaac's cathedral everyone whenever you're in saint petersburg russia i recommend saint isaac's cathedral let's look at this bronze horseman bronze horseman <laughs> Petro. I think that means Peter. Saint Peter. Very cool. Saint Petersburg, Russia. Let's get some info on Saint Petersburg. It's 20 degrees. I don't think that's a negative. Yeah, 20 degrees. <laughs> So we're warmer than Siberia. That's something. St. Petersburg is this boundary. The red dotted lines. Weird. Weird boundary. Hmm. They own this little part of the... Whatever this is. What is this? Let's see. Gulf of Finland. Okay. Cool. Let's just... Uh, let's see if we can find some stupid stuff in St. Petersburg. McDonald's. Yeah, there's a few. <clears throat> exactly what we wanted for a light snack. Clean and quick service. Too crowded and smells bad. Coffee machine doesn't work. They gave us water. We waited a lot of time. Oh, that sucks. Nice place, but so busy. This is the other one across town. This one's probably better. Just because it's across town. Had a horrible experience with standing outside for 40 minutes because there was a queue of people who didn't have a McDonald's app and didn't make an order through the app. Blah, blah, blah. Good location. Okay. I'll let you guys read that one. Hmm. Very good. Okay. So it's hit or miss. That's pretty much... I guess that's pretty much the norm for every McDonald's everywhere. You know, you'll have a good experience and you'll have a bad one. Pretty normal. Pretty normal. Alright. Well, we could be in St. Petersburg all day. This is just gigantic city. Let's do one more street view. Random street view. Boom. We're popping in. I don't think I could have picked a worse place to pop in. There is nothing right here. Let's redeem ourselves. Let's just do one more. Let's do uh, let's do one on kind of the outskirts. Uh, let's go north. Uh, Parns, Parnas, yeah, boom. Ugh, jeez. Could I have possibly done worse? At least there's trees in this one. I'm sorry, people. One more time. I, I can't end on that. That's not redeeming at all. Uh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, okay. Okay, better, better. That's actually like a normal number. But that's like Asian lettering. There's a map of, uh, what would this be? Maybe the subway or bus routes? She's like, oh, where do I need to go today? I take the red, the red line. I'm just assuming it's called the red line. Blue line, purple line, green line, orange line. Good luck in your travels, ma'am. Oh, there she is right there. 
Oh, ouch. Hurts to stretch. Hello, sir. ACDC. Yeah. Rock. Rock music in St. Petersburg. Oh, we just changed times a little bit. This looks like it could be a subway. Super bank. What is this? A bank? Oh, it's just a bank. Cool bank, though. Spur bank. <laughs> it's a spur bank, everyone. A spur bank. All right, let's click on a coffee place, look at the reviews, and then we'll go somewhere else. Buckwheat with poached eggs, avocado, and dried tomatoes is a healthy breakfast option since it combines the power of superfoods with great taste. Salted caramel cheese, cappuccino is a must-try at this place. Coffee cheese equals yummy. It's a positive review. Small, cozy, quiet cafe. Dishes are served slow. Oh, well, come on. Coffee 22. Coffee 22, everyone, 4.6. Check it out. All right, let's get out of here. We'll come back to St. Petersburg. That'd be a fun one to do for a whole video. We're just kind of roaming Russia right now, just getting a, getting a general lay of the land. Let's go all the way east to the furthest. Would this be the furthest? Let me think about this. Okay, there's Russia. They might own this island. Or maybe the U.S. does. I can't even click on it. Okay. This would be U.S. owned. United States Postal Service. 13 reviews. The post office is really big. Be careful and don't get lost. I sure do love mail. Especially the Savunijian mail. Nice mail. All right. Weird reviews. I sorted letters here. Oh, this is interesting. For 45 years to hide from World War II. Unfortunately, I didn't realize who won. I hate to break your break it to you. The parcel lay for 27 months, but the output is cool. Translated by Google. So I'm guessing these are like natives writing these reviews. Savunga. Savunga is a city in Nome Census Area, Alaska. It is located on St. Lawrence Island in the Bering Sea. As of the 2020 census, Savunga's population was 835. Ooh, up from 671 in 2010. They're booming. Savunga was incorporated in 69. In 71, it became joint owner of St. Lawrence Island, along with the island's only other city, Gamble. 25 degrees. It's not too bad. It's about what it is here in Michigan. I just gave my location away. Oh, well. Gamble. Oh, goodness. It's just sad. Let's see. Let's try it. And nope. Of course not. Of course, Google hasn't been there. All right. Uh, let me do what I promised I was going to do and then didn't do, which is furthest east town in Russia, I'm guessing, is this one. This got to be it. Ulin is a rural locality in Chukotsky District, just south of the Arctic Circle in the Russian Far East. Its population was 720 in 2010. Well, you know what we're going to do. Wow, we got one, which I think is this. Oh my goodness. That is just as remote as it gets, man. Something kind of depressing about it. They do have electricity, which kind of surprises me, honestly. Ulin. Ulin. The farthest eastern point. In Mother Russia, everybody. Ooh, let's check out, what is this? Ooh, a lighthouse, cool. 
Alright, alright. Russian Lighthouse. 1605 to 1672. It always never ceases to amaze me people were in this area at this time in history. Like, why? <laughs> I can't read any of this. Any of you that speak Russian, let me know what this stuff says in the comments. Nobody ever. Hello, cow. So cool. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? That doesn't even look real. That looks something off of a movie. That is just gorgeous, man. I gotta save that. I'm pre, I'm screen uh, shotting this. That's too, that's too beautiful, man. I gotta look at that again. That's just, man. I could live right there. I could live right there. Ah. Oh, I'm mesmerized. Okay. Eastern point of the world, everyone. Apparently, it's a tourist attraction. Mm, I don't know. Pixelation is is real all right that's the easternmost point of russia let's go to the westernmost point just to say we went from one end to the other and then what we'll do well i'll 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 do it when i when i decide to do it i'm just guessing where these eastern and western most points are if any of you want to correct me i mean i obviously could look it up but it's more fun to just kind of do it on your own. I'm guessing it's going to be right here between Estonia and Latvia. I'm looking at the Russian border. Excuse me for sniffling every five seconds. I uh, think I might be coming down with a cold. Ah, a cold. I'm thinking it's right here. What do you guys think? I can't hear any of you. Okay. The, yeah. I'm gonna guess it's right here. This has gotta be it. Historical landmark. Wonder if I was right. It's gotta be historical for some reason, right? It's just like a long white bar that's blinding me. Is that Raja? I don't know. It's definitely, uh, this point right here. Now let's go and see how far away that easternmost, this, this is going to be a crazy long, di I can't even, I'm going to guess 10,000 kilometers. Eastern point of the world. Oh, they can't calculate. We'll do it in miles. Um, flights. Eh. How am I going to do this? Walking. Dude, can you imagine walking that? All right, let's actually do a... F oh, I don't want to go to Iceland. Like, dude, stop reverting me. What are you... What is going on? Seriously. Okay. Jeez, oh, Pete. Let's try to do this maybe with this one. Oh, now I gotta go back to the other one. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh my goodness. Okay, where were we? Latvia, Latvia, up here. No, dude, really? Oh my goodness. I do this because I love it. Okay, 
There we go. Nope. Driving? I just want to know the distance. People. Is there any way to tell the difference? Or the distance? I don't know. Cycling? No. Hmm. Like I said, I could figure this out by just typing it in, but... You know, isn't it more fun to just try to figure it out? But I don't think we're going to be able to. I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, I know what we can do. Yep. Should have thought of this at first. I bet one of you or two of you is just like, Ah, do this. Why are you doing this? Well, firstly, I can't hear you. Secondly, it didn't come to mind until just now. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Um, if you haven't guessed already, I'm trying to get to measure distance. But I don't see it. Oy vey. Let's try it right here. I'm trying to do this without having to Google stuff, but forgive me, everyone. Forgive me how to measure distance on Google Maps. Right click on your starting point now. Right click on your starting point. There we go. Okay. Let me just see if this is going to work. Okay. It'll work. It'll work. Okay. Boom. Clear measurement. Boom. Measure distance. All right. Put in your bets in now, everyone. How far do you think it's going to be? I'm going to say... I'm actually going to say 12,000. And I think I have it in miles. If it reverts to kilometers, it'll be kind of close. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to click right. No, no, no. I can click at the easternmost. Yeah. I'm going to click right here. What the? What the? What the heck? Ow! Oh. That's not what I wanted. It's trying to like, what is it trying to do? Fly me there? I don't want to fly there, I just want to see... Come on, bro. Okay, that... Well, no, don't curve. Why are you curving? Really? Are you serious? Well, this is what I have to do, people. And it's gonna... This curvature is gonna really mess it up. It's gonna be kind of close. Oh, shit. You know what? I should have went with my original 6,000. Oh, well. 5,466.94 miles or 8,798.19 kilometers which is rough rough I think uh, the US is like 2,500 miles so that's over t twice as that doesn't seem right though Oh, no, wait a minute. Okay, f this is 500. So 1,000. 1,500, 2,000. No, I guess it's right. Yeah, I guess it's right. Okay. Oh, my goodness, it's so big. It's gigantic, dude. All right, let's, uh, let's clear the measurement. Let me just... I just want to see how... Would it be right here? Yeah, it'd be right here. Uh, boom. West Cody Head Lighthouse. This is just... Just to see. I don't know what the westernmost point is. It's going to be close. I'm going to guess right here. 2,800. And of course it's doing the curving thing. 
Is there any way I can get this to not curve? I don't think so. Yeah, 2,800 miles. Okay. And Russia's 5,800. Huge. All right, people. Well, this was the first edition of examining going into places around the world. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if this is something uh, you guys would like to see. Um, I could make it funny if I was funny. So maybe next time I'll down a couple shots of whiskey and try to at least comment comment on it a little more with humor right now i'm just uh almost uh gotta get ready for work so i'm not in the humor mode anyway okay